once you try this recipe you will definitely want to try it over and over again it's one of those recipes where you will need to stick it on your kitchen door keep watching hello 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 beautiful people how's it going it's your girl cloudy welcome welcome back to my kitchen today we are going to be making some one pan roasted or crispy potatoes juicy and crispy salmon with some crunchy vegetables if you're new here a very big welcome to you take a moment to hit the subscribe button trust me you're gonna love everything on here to start off in this bowl, I have my already sliced potatoes. I'm using yellow potatoes here. You can use any potatoes of your choice, all right? So just cut them into cube sizes like this. First off, to season it, I will use some olive oil. So guys, you must not use olive oil, okay? Use any oil of your choice. The next thing to come in is lemon zest. So I just zest one whole lemon, which I'll be using throughout seasoning in the recipe. Check the description box, guys, because I left important note for you guys. So add an Italian blend. I'm using the Italian blend because it has a combination of those beautiful herbs like thyme, oregano, sage, marjoram, and all that. So if you don't have Italian blend, use any dry herbs of your choice. The next to come in is some garlic powder. I love garlic in my crispy potatoes. Guys, if you've watched any of my previous potato recipes, you will know I never leave out garlic for my potatoes. The next to come in is salt and pepper to taste. I'm using the Himalayan pink salt. Here, you must not use the same salt, all right? Use any salt of your choice. This video is just like a guide for you, but trust me, it is so, so good. First, I will, secondly, I will add in my freshly cracked pepper like i said before you must not use freshly cracked black pepper any black pepper of your choice is gonna work last but not least i will bring in at least a tablespoon of lemon juice to have that a little bit of a kick of lemon there trust me guys if you've never ever tried lemon juice on crispy or any roasted or baked potato you should give it a try after perfectly seasoned in my baking pan, I just lined up with a parchment paper. I will grease it with some oil spray. If you don't have oil spray, you can just pour any oil there and manually rub it like I'm doing right now. Then put the potatoes there, spread it out. Then it's going to go to the oven on bake. At this point, your oven is supposed to be like already preheated 400 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? And let it go to the oven. Right in the oven, it's got to bake 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. While it's baking, we're going to go straight to our salmon. I have this beautiful looking salmon right here. I chose the one with the skin on because I want it crispy. Yes, I love crispy salmon with the skin on. If you don't want to use salmon, use any fish filler of your choice. You can use salmon without the skin. I'm just making some beautiful marks here to give it like to cut it to three equal parts so guys for my salmon here i just decided to use salmon for this recipe okay if you have a snapper fillet if you have a tilapia fillet any filler of your choice guys go ahead and use it so after perfectly slicing this look how beautiful it look at that it is so thick very very thick just imagine how tasty this is gonna be like i'm so excited guys so pad dry it always pad dry your fish to get rid of extra water or moisture so that your seasoning is not gonna like like swipe off from it or like drains from it and all that so the next to make our marinade right here i have i have some um maple syrup you can use any syrup but if you have honey honey is the perfect substitute for this i'm just gonna add in some um, lemon juice that's the remaining lemon juice our lemon zest comes in right now i'm gonna save some for my veggies okay so the next ingredients to come in is going to be a little bit of chili flakes because i love chili flakes i want it to be a little bit spicy but if you don't like spicy food you can skip that part 
our Italian blend comes in. Like I said before, if you have any Italian blend, go ahead and use either thyme, oregano, rosemary, or sage. Okay, either of them is gonna work perfect. But if you have Italian blend, fine. So I just added in my garlic powder. The next to come in is some smoked paprika. I wanted to have a little bit of smoky taste. So my paprika here is a smoked paprika. If you don't have smoked paprika, go ahead and use your normal or regular paprika okay do not stress yourself i like to make my recipes very easy and like many substitutes so that anyone can make it i just added in some oil in there i'm using olive oil like i said before any oil is just is gonna work just fine so add some salt and black pepper to taste Mix everything until perfectly combined and brush on all sides of the fish. So since my fish is really, really thick, I will just season, then let it rest maybe for about 5 to 10 minutes. But you see that? It has like, it's really, really thick because I want to, I want to make sure that seasoning gets right, like right inside the fish so save at least a tablespoon of the marinade okay because we're going to make it our gravy to enjoy our dish with for my veggies here i'll be using some zucchini both the yellow and the green use any veggies of your choice but my favorite veggies to go with grilled potato or roasted potato is zucchini i love zucchini guys i love zucchini and whenever i make it i always make it to be very very crunchy and not overcooked so right now i'll just put in some black pepper i won't be using salt yet because my red wine vinegar the kick is just okay for me so i just added in some lemon zest my red wine vinegar and some olive oil so check the description box guys and yeah i'm gonna list out everything you'll be needing there but if you want extra salt you can go ahead okay to check on our potatoes, it has been baking for 30 minutes, but it is not fully cooked. It's not fully cooked. So just shift it to the side. That's why I said grease your baking pan. Because if you don't grease it, trust me, it's not going to shift to one side. So I will now put in my salmon to fit in perfectly. At this point, I will just use some oil spray on it because I want it crispy. This is when you make your potatoes really crispy. Let it go back to the oven for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, we're going to transfer our veggies inside. So guys, like I said, it's a one pan meal. Okay. You just need to know the appropriate times that each is going to cook. But I drop all that information in the description box. Check it out. So my veggies is going to go to the oven, same 400 degrees Fahrenheit, five minutes, not more than five minutes because I love my zucchini really really crunchy and not overcooked that's how i love my veggies do not overcook your veggies to make our gravy this is one tablespoon of that remaining marinade i will add in some butter you can add any amount of butter but my lemon juice is okay if you want a little bit of kick in your gravy you can put like one tablespoon of lemon juice but that's optional i'll just microwave that for about a minute and you have a beautiful sauce here guys if you have never ever tried this this combo, this cloudy signature marinade and the gravy. Oh my Lord. Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. You should go for it. Everything has been fully cooked now. I'll just brush on that beautiful gravy which we made in the microwave on it and the food is ready to serve so guys let me know in the comment section what you would love to enjoy with this meal your favorite veggies if you would love maybe sweet potatoes whatsoever or what is your favorite site for salmon just let me know in the this in the comment section okay so right now i'm just going to transfer it and get ready to serve like i told you guys i love my salmon with the skin on see how crispy that is oh my lord it's gonna be so so good and here i'll just put in my potatoes crispy potatoes but soft and like yummy and the next to come in is my veggies it's still looking so crispy you see that it's not overcooked it is not overcooked and here i'll just give it a little bit of cut here and let's see fully cooked to perfection 
so guys this is the end of the video thank you so much for watching to this point keep supporting your girl keep liking comment subscribe it's time for us we have to reach 100k okay so thank you so much for watching till we meet again bye bye lastly stay safe